Morning world, it's about 10.30 on the 1st of March 2017 and this is the first of four videos that I'm going to be doing on the Midheaven, much misunderstood position. The Midheaven or the Medium Coeli, the MC, is always the highest part of the chart. It's the beginning of the 10th house. There are 39 house systems in use in contemporary astrology to my knowledge of which the Midheaven is always the start of the 10th house in 38 of them. The only one it's not is the Equal House system, which I don't use anyway, and which only really works um, above or below 66 degrees north or south of the equator. Um, the Midheaven stands for a number of different things. In this video, I want to look at it in terms of its relationship as the ruler of the 10th house and the ideas concerning work, job, career. Now, sometimes you find people with no planets in the 10th house, but a lot of aspects to the midheaven, which actually promotes them big time into job, work and career situations. Other times, people with a lot of planets in the 10th house will work in ways that dictate, are very dictated according to the nature of those planets and the aspects to them and the midheaven. So the following is a rough and not complete guide to the types of career that certain planets on the Midheaven will take. For example, people with the Sun on the Midheaven, well, they're born at midday. If the Sun is directly in the middle of the sky, directly overhead, then they're born very close to midday and they shine like the Sun at midday. They're visible, prominent, they walk into a room and everyone stops and looks at them and goes, isn't he or she on telly? Don't we know him or her from somewhere? They're visible, whether they like it or not. The moon on the midheaven people, or the moon in the 10th house, are very given towards um, working in career that involves nurturing, whether it is teaching, cooking, nursing, caring, but the nurturing principle always works strongly, a genuine desire to care for the world. Mercury on the midheaven people, such as yours truly, tends to speak, communicate, travel, network, write for a living. It's all to do with media and communication. Um, Venus on the Midheaven people don't have to try very hard. They're considered fair of face. Uh, and there's often a physical beauty attached to these people, but it's also a sign that can get a bit lazy because everything happens for them. So they don't learn that much. They don't have to try too hard. Common in the charts of models, film stars, famous musicians, people who are very prominent for their artistry and their looks as much as anything else. Mars on the Midheaven people, there, there, there you find the workers, the people who put a lot of energy in and output into the world, and they're the people who become much more physically proactive. Often they burn out others around them because the rest of the world can't keep up with them. Jupiter on the Midheaven people are people who tend to achieve a lot in the early part of life and then kind of burn out as they get older and become a bit jaded because they have trouble finding real value and worth in terms of achievement or success from the outside world as they get older. They have to find a deeper philosophy on around work and job and career in order to find personal fulfilment. Saturn on the Midheaven people is the opposite. These are the people who struggle when younger, especially with authority, which I'll deal with in another video. But as they get older, i.e. post-40, post-45, these are the people who then become much more successful in later life, rarely retire until they're 75, 80, because they'd be bored, and actually become much more comfortable with handling responsibility and authority as they age. Uranus on the Midheaven people rarely do anything for anyone else, they normally end up working for themselves because they're crap at taking orders and they need to be independent. Neptune on the Midheaven people tend to work with art, whether it be film, photography, poetry, literature, film, stars. It's, it's all to do with glamour and the casting of enchantment and, and casting a spell on the world through, through some type of story, whether it be through acting or writing. Pluto on the Midheaven people make the world's best private detectives, criminal psychologists, spies, people who get into things in a profound, deep and psychologically orientated way. The Midheaven, in terms of job and career, 
uh, the sign that's on the midheaven doesn't really influence the choice of career, but it does show the way that one uh, deals with issues around work and career. For example, people with a Virgo midheaven will always go about their job in a diligent, effective and efficient way. People with Capricorn on the midheaven will always want to be seen to be doing things in a loyal and trustworthy way. People with a Gemini midheaven will... Uh, always have a diverse attitude towards job and career, often two careers at once, and always be good at communication. The sign that's on the midheaven shows the way you, uh, not the way you work, but the way you influence your work through the nature of the sign that's on the midheaven. Part two, we'll talk about the midheaven in terms of public image, and that's next. Catch you later. Bye.